I'm Martin Huang from Taiwan on behalf of the headquarters to be here and would like to thank you for your long-term partnership and supporting Power to grow and I would like to appreciate Intel's help for the long-term supporting Power to grow in every aspect and we have done something together and we will, do, we will keep on doing it well. Hello everybody. It's nice to see you again on the video. I'm Taylor Zhou, Managing Director of Portrait of Europe. 2012 is a very exciting year for us because we have been selected and promoted to the uh, premium membership of Intel. And this is a very important achievement. Thank you for your um, support and inputs in the last 18 years to grow with us. Um, with this membership, we will be able to access many more um, Intel new technology. For example, if you look at to my back, you will see the Ivy Bridge, Sandy Bridge, you will see the dual core atoms, um, CETA trail platforms available in our product range. Um, with this uh, new architecture, we will be able to bring your solution to a more higher productivity and efficiency. So we hope to hear from you very soon right after the show to bring your concept to um, a profitable solution. So I wish to talk to you soon and my colleagues is going to introduce you about the um, variety of portal products. Thank you very much. Okay, so slim, smart and cool. Why do we need these products in today's world? Well, in the world of embedded, typically things have been islands of automation. And now people are wanting stuff to be much more connected and have a much better experience of operating with the systems. So these are some of the examples and we'll, we'll move on to some further examples later of the sort of technology that incorporates both an embedded device and a screen. But I think the most important thing is that these are all now connected devices. From a recent VDC study, not only is the world of the embedded computer moving forwards at a high rate, at about 15% per annum growth, the biggest growth within the embedded market is now the connected device, which is growing at something like 30% per annum. So why is the connected device so important to us? It's the experience we expect when we, when we interact with any system these days. We expect it to have the latest information. It's no longer good enough when we get our train ticket to get given the schedule for the train. We expect to know the exact time the next train is going to come. That can only work if something as simple as a ticket machine, which used to be an island of automation, is now connected to the rest of the world so that information is available to you. So the connected device is what we're looking at here. So even some of these devices, which are very simple, very low power, very slim, very smart devices, are still able to be connected to the internet so they can have live data or give live data back to the world. For instance, these devices are based on the Freescale 515. So very low power, but compute capable of running HD video graphics. So high performance, low power, and still with a very interactive screen. So we have a number of types of units. For instance, this unit has a stainless steel bevel, uh, essential for the food and beverage industry, where they insist that the, me the metals have to be uh, stainless steel. Again, flat panels, completely flat, sealed, IP rated. We have a number of variants of platform. This is the latest new generation, second generation platform, based on the new uh, Cedar Trail platform, Cedar Trail Atoms. Interchangeable I.O., so depending on your needs, we can actually customise this unit. But I think the key piece about this unit, and I can't turn it that way, is how slim the unit is. The depth that this unit can now be placed into allows us to put it into almost any application because of the shallow depth. This is uh, quite a unique feature for this unit now, and we've put a lot of engineering effort into delivering that small size platform. Schönen guten Tag, mein Name ist Thomas Lerch von Portwell Deutschland. Ich möchte heute ein bisschen auf das Produktportfolio von Portwell im Allgemeinen in der Modultechnik eingehen. Portwell hat in der Vergangenheit äh, etliche erfolgreiche Projekte gewonnen im Bereich Q7, speziell im äh, Tunnel Creek Bereich. Ähm, hier vorrangig im Bereich Medical, äh, Automation, äh, Automotive und äh, Military Bereich. In diesem Jahr werden neue Plattformen folgen, zum einen unser neues Microcom Express Board PCOM B218 mit der Setter Trail Plattform und darauf aufbauend im High Performance Bereich die PCOM B219 mit der neuen Ivy Bridge. 
Besonderheit bei diesen zwei Modulen ist, dass wir hier durch ein spezielles Design äh, den Modulen ermöglichen, einen Kaltstart bei minus 40 Grad einzuräumen. Und das, denke ich, macht uns äh, im Punkt unseres Wettbewerbs äh, führend. Ähm, ergänzend zu den äh, Modulen bieten wir äh, rund ums Produkt äh, sehr äh, guten Service an im Bereich Hardware-Unterstützung im Punkt Trägerboard Design, äh, Software-Adaptierung im Bereich Operating System und auch in der Middleware, sprich Firmware-Programmierung.